Hi and welcome. We're the Weasley Sisters. I'm Naturally Nitty, aka Jessica, and this is episode 148. And I am Starnik, aka Alina. Today is June 17th. This is our weekly podcast. If this is your first time watching, thank you for watching us. If this is your billionth time watching, thanks for coming back. <laughs> So grab your knitting, pull up a chair, and craft along with us. Any mojo? Yeah. No Joe. We should rename the section. <laughs> ah. Any whips? I have lots of whips. I have some if you want me to go while you're doing that. I don't have any of them by me, so I can just talk about them. They're my socks. I'm on the heels for the, the gray ones. And, um, yeah, pretty much, I don't think I'm going to finish my new. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Um, is that sure. it? You can't help that I'm a ridiculously slow knitter. Hey, you try, and that's what counts. But I'm ridiculously good looking. Children who can't read well, or something like that. <laughs> um... What is that from? Zoolander. Okay. I was like, I know that phrase. Um, oh, that's funny. Okay. So what's your work? So on? I am currently working on, this is my second ball of sample Rolex that I spun that I'm working through. See this? These are all little finished objects. Aww. I've made out of each colorway that's it a looks mitten. Like that was the what's up dot colorway. It was carrot. So it does look like one. Here's another little Aww. mitten. That starry night. I think this one was haystacks. I don't know. I might try and remember what they all were. Here's a little hat. That's cute. And another hat. And the sock. Turn it in, you need two socks. And I oh, I have more. I think I'm going to turn these all in together. Oh, or okay. I guess I could split them up and submit for like a bunch of classes. It's six classes. That's, this is the hat I started uh, during our last podcast out of Heavy on the Need of Guts. And another sock. Speaking of unicorns, I know this is kind of sidetracked. We were at Walmart today, and this kid walked by, this teenager guy, and he had the coolest tank top on. It was rainbow, and it was a unicorn who, like, farting rainbow, a rainbow. It was so funny. I laughed so hard. That's but his hat matched and everything. It was all rainbowy. These things go so fast, and I haven't, like, these are the only things I've knit in a month. And they just keep coming. I don't always knit, but when I knit, I knit small things. <laughs> another hat. Okay, how many more do you have? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hold up like two at a time or something. <laughs> no, because this is more fun. This one was Spidey Sense. Oh, that's cool. Blue and red. So Did Gabe pick that one out? No, I made it. Oh, the Spidey Sense. No, I just made it. Oh, okay. Um, and called it that because it was spring brain colors. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, no. I need to block them a little bit. Um. Yeah. And then I have all these little, because I didn't use up every single bit of, like, the the colorways. So I have like. Cool. That, so you can make like mini skeins to hang. The mini skeins to hang. Um, yeah. And then I have, you know, still a few to knit out of this. But yeah. So that's what I've been working on. And I feel accomplished. And that will at least be my one class or six. 
<laughs> I think you should turn them in for sex. I will, because I totally have been slacking this term, like, up the wazoo. Um, so that makes me feel better. I also, I'm going to, I'm not sure if I'm going to make them onto a garland, or I think I might just close pin them to certain things on my display. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. That's all I have. Unless we go to spinning. Those are kind of like not wit. Those are kind of like mojo. You totally lied. Well, I'm still working on them. I'm not done. I hear my phone, but I don't know where I put it. It sounds close to the computer. I found it. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> if I don't answer it, it will just go um bad. It'll go off again. Okay, so mo moving on to spinning. Spinning. Did I show Look you? Look what I'm doing right now. I'm flying. Did you know that? I'm flying. That's awesome. Do not fall off your seat or off your rocking chair or whatever. I'm flying. Oh, do I need to move it over? No, I was falling off my my rocking chair. Oh, back. okay. So, I'm actually flying. But I actually also fly. I know you wanted me to talk about yours. I also spun at my show this past weekend. I have my turtle made drop spindle in to show, like, how you use a bucket. Okay. Um, I have a drop spindle that I just kind of keep in with my stock and some fiber and I spin on it during there. So I'm like slowly, like I had split it in half and then I had split half of it like in eight. So I'm almost done with those eight. And I'm just gonna like spin the whole um, braid of fiber on my spindle. And I switched from my regular Turkish drop spindle to my turtle made drop spindle when I got it, which is a mini turtle made drop spindle. So, it looks really funny because it's like this thing. And I was going to grab it, but I totally forgot. It happens. So just pretend you see it. And I didn't even take a picture of it when I was spinning on it. That's okay. But I did take a picture. Okay. I taught Andy how to use the drop spindle because he's always sitting there with me and he's like bored out of his mind. And... He's been talking about learning how to use a drop spindle. So I was talking with Gwen Aaron of, I was talking with Gwen of Gwen Aaron. She dyes fiber and stuff. And she had, she wanted to trade bags for fiber, which I'm totally down for. And then Andy was like, oh, I won't take your trade. I'm like, really? Because I don't have enough fiber. And he was like, okay. So he went and picked, he went and picked one out and, um, I taught him how to use the drop spindle. Well, it started because my neighbor booth, she saw me drop spindling and then talked to one of the places that were selling spindles and, um, they sold her a spindle and, um, she was trying to figure it out and she couldn't figure it out. So I was showing her how to do it. So then I showed Andy how to do it. I should have just taught a class, <laughs> but I had them spindling, and um, here's the picture. I, sh I shared it on, I'll share it in the show notes, but he's, like, splitting the fiber, and he's spinning. Pretty awesome. cool, huh? It is. But he, he had been talking about it, and he was like, oh, no, and then he, like, was over there, and Gwen came over to my booth, and she's, like, he's watching my booth for me while I come here and pick out stuff, and then he texts me, he's like, see if you can trade her enough. So I can get one of her cool spindles, too. I was like, okay. Because she had these just your basic Turkish spindle, and he wanted his own. So That's I traded nice. bag for fiber and a spindle, and I taught him how to spin. So now, like, during shows, he'll sit there and be spindling. But then he was like, oh, I'm wasting it. I'm like, you're not wasting it. He's like, yeah. I'm like, no, that looks way better than any of my first spin. So just shut the heck up. <laughs> And then he was like, oh, I'm wait I feel like I'm wasting it. I'm like, you're not wasting it. 
And he's like, well, when am I going to get more? I'm like, I don't know. There's no fiber in our house. <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah. Like, I'm sure I can find something for you. But, yeah. So, I think it'll only be something he does at shows. But other than that. No, that's so cool. Yeah. I don't know if Joe would ever learn to spin. He might. It's kind of like a, a thing. Like, if he was at the show with you, you know? Yeah. People um, like to watch you when you loop drop spindling. So, I have been spinning a lot since I have not been knitting at all, hardly. Um, I am working on my Turkish spindle, which is the standard size. It's, I forget what, six or seven inches, maybe? Up. And I'm doing a mashup of um, Rolex, about four so or five. Leftover one? What? The leftover ones you said? Yeah, they were leftover ones that didn't equal up two ounces. So I picked four different colorways that kind of go together. And, um, or not really, but that I liked together and I'm spinning them randomly. Um, so, oops. So this is my second cup and I'm almost done and it was four ounces or maybe even a little more than four ounces. And I, so I got two ounces on the one cup at least. And then I have two more row legs that I need to spin and then I'll be done with that. Cool. So there's another class. Where can we go? Because I started that this month. Um, oh, there you go. So turn your knitting in for five classes, and that'll be good. Right. And then I think I showed this last month, last week. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you. Did. And I'm applying um the rest of it too. Cool. Um. And that's it, I think. When does Tour de Fleece start? June. It's June. I mean July. Okay. Wasn't <laughs> like, it over the 4th of July? I don't know. When I does Tour de Fleece start? I know. I need to look stuff up and get ready for that. Um, Entertain our viewers while I look it up. Um, <laughs> I don't really have talking. much more to go on. Um, no, okay. <laughs> so we're moving on to sewing. Okay, and I actually have some sewing. Um, okay, I I'm getting ready for the show that's coming up. Right, um, it's in less well a little more than a week. It's next weekend, not this weekend. Next weekend, um, which is crazy. So I made. I'm quite jealous. I wish I could have came. For it. I know you should just come. Um, yeah, but you already told Fauna she's going with you. Yeah. I can have two helpers. <laughs> um, so I bought some fabric to use as a tablecloth, and I just surged around the edge so that it wouldn't fray or anything. Fancy? Yeah. Um, it's just gray stripes. It's nothing cool. Um, but then I also, I wasn't sure if... I'd need this or not, but I saw this on Pinterest and I thought it was a really cute idea. So I made little vendor aprons. Look how cute these are. Oh, they're super cute. So I have two big pockets and then like little ones. Sweet. So there's one. And here's another. You could probably turn those in for a class too. Dude, I have all sorts of classes today. That's awesome. So I could. need to turn those in for a class, four classes of your mini thing. There you go. And then you're spinning. Um, but yeah. So, and they're lined. Oh, so fun story. Oh, I never fixed that. <laughs> so this pattern calls for um, fusible interfacing, which I don't really do much. I do it all the time. Yeah, I don't. So I was. It doesn't fit. And you don't have to worry about pinning and moving. 
I did it wrong. Okay. Oh, so I, I ironed the stuff on and then I peeled the paper off. Like, I think you're supposed to iron two things together, right? Um, mine I, isn't. Mine was heat. Double sided. I think mine was. And <laughs> it was just bad. I ironed it on fine. And then I peeled the paper off. But the other side was still sticky. So then I was being careful and not getting it on the iron. And then I totally made a mistake. And I, the iron is like completely like has gunk on it and I need to clean it off. Yeah. 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 I've done that. Or I've done it where I've like been ironing it and I forget that the shiny side is supposed to be ironed to the fabric and I iron it to the ironing board. Yeah. Yeah. So it happened. It was a fail, and I kind of wrecked the iron. Luckily, I have two. One with mine, and one. Well, mine. you can clean that off really easy. Well, good. I mean, I didn't ruin it, but I just I need to clean it off. Um, but they came out cute either way. I was happy with them. Okay. So my interfacing only has one sticky side. I think I don't know. I think I bought it from when I made the kids' uh pajamas for Christmas and I ironed their the letters to their shirts and I must have thrown away the directions and then I just kind of guessed so it didn't really work too well okay so tour de fleece starts July 4th through July 26th I'm totally putting that in my phone so the 13th and Monday the 13th and Tuesday the 21st, our, are the day, are, not our, are the rest days. <laughs> I don't care about rest days. We don't do no stinking rest. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little slap happy. <laughs> July 4th to July 26th. I'm, totally. I'm going to put that in my calendar, too. I am. July through the what? 26. Do it, please. Yeah, baby. Now, we're going to just spin with the house cup thing, right? Yeah, and let's not do anything. We had talked about doing a spinzilla team, but you have to be a TNNA member to be a yeah, so we, we looked into it, and it was crazy uh, amount of hoops to jump through, and I didn't want to jump. Um, I guess we could have a team for Tour de Fleece, but I always do it with the House Cup. And Yeah, let's just go with the House Cup. Okay. Maybe we could offer a prize or something. I'd be down with that. I'll offer some real legs up. Maybe we could do, like, a mini, not a team, but a mini competition, like... In with the most green or something like that. We'll think about it. I'm down. I'm down with that. So it's July 4th through the 26th. That's cool. Okay. Um, okay, so sewing. Do you have sewing? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm We're putting it 20. in. Did you finish your big order yet? No, I am almost done. Do you I have, have a deadline for that? What? Do you have a deadline for that? Yeah, I'm going to try and get them done by Friday. I finished. I have maybe like 20 left to do. So it shouldn't be too bad. So um, I've, I've been working on that big order. And, um, um, that's pretty much all I've been doing, but I have did I have, I did take a week off there to sew some for the show I had last weekend. And while I was doing that, I threw in a special order that had gotten in that I needed to get done. I have another one to do, but. I told them that it would be a little bit still, so I have time. But I also um, have another special order 
someone wanted an extra large pocket with um, this fabric. So I got more fabric. And you can't just go to a fabric website and buy just one yard. So I bought more. <laughs> so I got some boxes because last time I had that, it sold really fast. And I got this to match it. I'm awesome at matching, even on the computer. Did you just have other foxes, too, though? Not yeah. too long ago? I also picked up some ravens because they're kind of cool. And I got black to go with it, black and white. Mm -hmm. And then I picked up these foxes because they're just as awesome as the other foxes, only they're blue and green and stuff. And then I got this funky hound too to go with it. I don't know if it is hounds too. But it looks kind of like it. Ish. It matches perfectly. I'm like seriously awesome at matching fabric. <laughs> so yeah. Like I guess foxes are in this year. Oh. Um, oh. Remember last year was owls. Now it's foxes and hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are cute. I still like owls though. So. Yeah, I do too. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I also like sheep. Sheep. I know. I need to get more sheep fabric because I like sheep too. Um, but that's all that I'm doing for sewing. My special order ironing and I got new okay. fabric. So, Jim, I've actually been doing good and I feel good about myself. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you because I thought. Okay, so the kids got off of school, right? And I, I think the next day or so... I said to Joe, I want to go on family bike rides every morning that we can. Like, that's not raining or we don't have something, like, super early scheduled already. So I said, okay, 7.30 bike rides every morning. We have yet to actually go on a bike ride at 7.30 in the morning. Why would I was just gonna ask why would you schedule it for seven thirty in the morning? We didn't really schedule. It's just what we call it. We call it our seven thirty bike ride. So the first time we did it, we did it at like four in the afternoon, and <laughs> but we went on our seven thirty bike ride. <laughs> it's just what we're doing, um, and it's fun. And the other day, you on know that your kids are gonna go to therapy later on in life and be like, we always had to go on our seven thirty bike ride at four o'clock in the afternoon. We never actually got to go at our seven thirty bike ride. Well, today, and the therapist is gonna go, tell me about it. Today we did. I think it was like eight ish, eight thirty. I forget. I didn't really check. Just in the morning, you know, before things get going, so somewhere. we can start the day off right with some exercise and some family time because that's before Joe has to work because he works at a restaurant and he doesn't have to be there till 10 if he works that, that morning. Um, so it works out. Um, the other day we rode all the way down. Now, those of you that don't know my town, this means nothing to you, <laughs> which is like all of you, um, but we rode Except down to the lighthouse almost well down to oh really like um blue harbor rather by the why well we went to blue harbor which is like not as far it's like whatever oh. but like and then we walked all the way out on south pier which was like a good long distance on the pier like i didn't think it was that long of a thing but it actually was um and i realized how afraid I am for the children. <laughs> like the pier obviously is a pier and it's surrounded by water. And like every time someone, like I swear someone's going to fall in and like, I never used to be that afraid or like, you know, like fearful for your kids, you know, when they're climbing or whatever and you're, you always get yeah. butterflies. It happens all the time to me now. Like what happened to me? I don't know. Um, so I made you Jordan hold my hand up. and he's like, I'm fine. I'm like, I need you to hold my hand because I'm afraid. <laughs> Cause like every time he'd walk like anywhere close to the edge, it would like freak me out. But, uh, yeah. So we walked That's back. That's what I like when we're on height. That, uh, I'm like, no, no, no. Get away from the railing. Yeah. Um, so, and then we rode back and Joe has like a little computery thing on his bike and he, he said we did like 7.6 miles that day. 
which is pretty good. There and back. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we've gone a couple times. We went to this morning as well. Not the same place. We just kind of ride wherever we want. Did you have to stand up on your bike to get back up the hill? Me? All of you. Because that's a pretty steep hill to go well, up I on a bike. bike. So I did the gears. I think Leo so, walked it. <laughs> I have a beach cruiser bike. Oh, yeah. Which is why I don't do bike rides because I thought it was awesome because it looked really cool. And then I tried riding it and I was like, oh my gosh. No. This hurt. Like, I don't know how kids who don't have mountain bikes with gears can ride bikes. That's true. Really and everyone else in the family now has a mountain bike with gears and we've been teaching them how to use them because like, I want to actually get a workout ish, you know, when we're riding. So I try and go fast and I usually lead the way. Yeah. But Truben is the only one that doesn't. And he starts lagging behind now. And then Joe was trying to like encourage him to go faster. And he slowed down <laughs> to a crawl this morning on the way home. We had to wait like 10 minutes after the rest of us got home before Truben arrived home. It was kind of funny. And he's like going so, so slow. Get him a mountain bike. I know. Well, I don't know if he'd fit or if they make smaller ones. Not from Walmart. They should. But, um. I don't know. I actually want to look into getting a nicer bike for me because the one I have doesn't really fit me all that well. It was like a friend from work who's like way into biking. It's a nice bike, but it I need a little bit bigger one. But whatever. I'll deal with it for now. But I do enjoy it. And I can see myself like going and just riding by myself. That's um, cool. It's like... Um, easy on joints and stuff. You know what I mean? Like it... It's a workout, but it doesn't feel hard on the body. That's why I like it. Until you get off the bike and you can't stand. Well, that's too. like riding a horse. Well, after you, after the first couple times, and it's not too bad. Because your butt force powerful. right? And your legs get powerful. So, how have have you been with Jim? Nothing. I'm sorry. I stopped. But. I mean, really, there's no excuse. I just have it. I just really, I like, have been, last, the last week, two weeks, I was waking up and like working like crazy. So now that I'm back, I'm like vegging. Because, you know, after a show, you veg. I don't. Because it's a lot. So I, I, I'm like working through my veg thing. Because I'm still working because I have that bulk order due. Yeah. So um, I'm been working through my veg state, and I still haven't been working out, but I need to. Maybe tomorrow. But this week, okay. So this is the first full week of summer vacation. So we get back. Madison needs to go to camp on Monday, and Bella has VBS this week. So I had a friend take Bella to VBS on. Monday, mm -hmm. and then I drove, okay, this is kind of random, so I drove um, Madison to camp, and it's just, the start of summer, you think, oh, it's summer, we can have all this family time and do all this stuff together. Yeah, right, it's way busier than even school, the school year. <laughs> it does get crazy. Um, um but that's not a really good... I should not be making excuses for not working out. I should just work out. But you should. I'm not. But so if you listen to this or watch this, you need to get back. And I haven't gone to the um, challenge thread and said, Oh, I worked out. You need to like ear burn me and yell at me. I give you all permission to do that. And if you have my cell phone number, you can text me and ask me if I've worked out. So feel free to bombard me and guilt me into working out because obviously earning yarn or fiber is not working like I thought. Okay. So, yeah. okay, next up is binge. Binging. Are um, you binging anything? I am. Okay, so last time I was binging on... The Mortal Instruments, right? 
Okay, so I got through the third book, and then I moved on to the fourth. And I realized that I hate the person who reads it. Like, because I'm auto audioing, And I couldn't listen to her. So I changed, and I started listening to The Clockwork Angel. Those are good. So I listened to that one. Just kidding, I haven't finished the last one. But the first two are good. And I'm on the second one right now. Um, and it's fun, and I'm enjoying it. I kind of like that one a little bit better, though Will kind of annoys the crap out of me. Mm. But it's kind of funny because then when you read the um, Mortal Instruments, you're like, oh, I know about this whole thing. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, it's fun. Um, so I'm liking that. Then, oh, I didn't even write these down. But I had a lot of stuff on my DVR. So I watched about six episodes of The Vampire Diaries. And I caught up on that. And I watched... Did you delete them? Say no. No, I did. You did? Dang it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I also had about six episodes of the originals, which I'm watching through. I have two left. Okay. I'm like a whole season behind. Oh, yeah. I didn't have all of them. It was just the end of the seasons. Um, Which, the Vampire Diaries, like, I thought it was over. But then I heard that there, there's going to still be another season. But, like, the way they ended, ended that it. season, I was like, whoa. Uh. Well, I, because um, I'm a season behind, so I know I don't know what happened. But I did watch the first couple of the new season. Like, I went, I remember to go on their website, but then I forgot. Hmm. But, anyways, I don't like the whole Elena forgetting Damon because I really like it. Oh, I know that made me mad, too. So I kind of thought it was over then, but I mean, I know you have to like keep a, a series alive and do like crazy things, but it just bugs the crap out of me. Yeah. And I do it. Um, but yeah, so now I'm listening, I'm watching the originals all, well, I probably won't finish it tonight cause it's late. Um, but yeah, two of those. And then I still have like a few other shows to watch. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so, any books you've been listening to besides the... No, I need to get a new Colonel series Bison. and get into it. I am, like, waffling on series a little bit because um, um, I didn't have this wrote, written down because it happened in, like, the last 15 minutes. So I have been having... I had problems with the Stephanie Ivanovich... The Stephanie Plum by Janet Ivanovich series i i went to the library and got the third one again so i can fix my file yeah. so i can actually listen to it and then i picked up another one of her books just because i like her writing style they're kind of like off the wall crazy and hilarious and sometimes you just need to laugh so that's why i like it um but i um read a book called Insatiable by Meg Cabot. Okay. Um, she's the one who wrote The Princess Diaries, and I always liked those that movie because it was funny, but, like, serious, too, like, but funny and, like, quirky. Mm -hmm. So I picked up the book, and it's Insatiable. It's like a, this lady, like, it writes. It's like she's an adult. She's not a teen or anything. She writes for um, a soap opera, and she hates vampires and then all of a sudden everyone around her is like a vampire basically like everyone's crazy about vampires and then she finds out everyone's a vampire but i read it so i read it like got went into it read expecting it to be quirky and just funny and it totally was it was like cheesy funny and quirky all at the same time but like pretty much pretty entertaining um so i thought it was good um but i read the reviews and not a lot of people like them, but it was, I, I thought it was an interesting take on vampires. So it was cool. Okay. And then I'm also, I just started tonight or today, the second book in um, the passage series by Justin Cronin. The first one's called the passage. And then the second one's called the 12. So I'm reading, I just started that. 
Like that's what I ended up on. I started a few other books I just couldn't get into. Um, so I'm kind of like going back and forth on series. But then within like the last 15 minutes, like while I was waiting for you to do your thing and I was like getting my notes, um, cause I, I put the link in our show notes to the good read book, the good read mm -hmm. file of the book or whatever. And, um, I saw, I sometimes when I'm there, I just put in the books I'm reading and write my review, the blah, blah, blah. But then sometimes I'll go to recommendations and they like recommend books depending on your likes and what you've read and what your is in your to read by, you know, your queue and stuff. So I um, thought that for the Kate Daniels um, series, they have, um, cause remember that's written by Ilona Andrews, which is a husband and wife team that wrote it. Okay. So for that series, the husband wrote a, a few like short stories from current point of view, which is the, the male lead in that series. And, um, I think the, the main problem I have with this last book is, you know, like, um, just like you always hear from the girl's point of view and you never hear from the guy's point of view. So I just downloaded those from their website. Like you can download them as a PDF. So I'm, I'm going to start reading like those just so I can like see his point of view because then I think I will be okay to finish that series okay. for now. But because I have one more book in that series to read, but I, I did, I was looking at my iTunes and I realized, um, uh, audiobooks had, a, or Audible had a, um, two for one deal, like get two books for one credit. So I went and, um, on my wish list, I had, um, The Mists of Avalon, which I thought would be a good book. It's like Merlin, but from the point of view of the women. And then, um, I forget who that's by, but I have like the book book of that, but I don't actually have a ton of time to sit down and read. So audiobooks work best. But um, I also then got one book called Steelheart by Brian Sanderson, which I'd already read and I really liked it. Um, so I downloaded the audiobook because it was like buy one, get one free, basically. So, And it was just like a select few and that was one on the list. So I picked it. So I'm excited. I think I'm going to read those because I forgot I had those to um listen to so i think i might put those on my um ipod next so that i can go from when i'm done with the 12 to that to that because for a while there i wasn't sure what to read yeah. you know and i've been kind of saving the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy series just for like when i really need to pick me up because they're so funny um at least to me they're funny but um so I, I, I like I read the first three, so I just need to read the, the last one. But you no, know, cool. I'm weird that way. But yeah, that's all I'm binging on. I haven't really been watching anything. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of work. It's cool. So random randomness. Yes. Oh. I made. Um, no. Go on. Or do you still have reading? No, I'm done. I'm very excited about this. I did some crafting. And I painted some box with chalkboard paint. That's awesome. Aren't they fun? And like. That is awesome. I have more. I have a whole bag of them. Um, they're way fun. So what are the other ones going to say? Um, some of them are just fun. This one is like for samples. Oh, cool. 
Um, just for signs for um, the show. So I had wood and I just sanded them down and then I painted them with paint that I've had laying around forever. But when you have chalkboard paint that's been sitting around for probably about, I don't know, seven years, it tends to separate. So I had like, on a can this big, I had like this much like thick goo on the bottom. So I was like using a paint stick and like trying to chop it up. I like it almost took a whisk to it. Like that's, it was like just. You should not hook something on a, a drill. And run it. I should have. So I'm like ch chopping it up kind of and like getting it all. It was, it was just gross. Like the top part was like water. And then this like goo is like swamp stuff. It was like just really gross. So then I finally got it somewhat broken up and there's like big chunks. And then I was like, I might just have to go out and buy some, which I didn't want to because that chalkboard paint is kind of expensive. Um, so I put the top back on and I shook it like mad for a long time. And I got it pretty much incorporated, thankfully. Was it like the shake weight? You yeah, I was out. like sitting there like shaking it like crazy. Um, but enough to where it worked, and I painted those things, and I'm very happy with them. I think they're going to be fun. And um, when I said I texted you that I need you to design my booth, I was not kidding. I am seriously saying. I'm not really a designer. I just thought they'd be cute. Um, but I think you need to help me out because I suck at that stuff. Like, even your house looks cute. Mine is like a hodgepodge mess. Whatever. I have like one corner that looks cute. Right. Anyways. Case in point. I also bought a few more crates. Um, because when I set up my thing, I realized I could use a couple more. And I just linseed oiled them and they're outside. Hopefully they will soak it up. Oh, I didn't even think of doing that to mine. I did, because I figured they're not, like, they're not bad wood or anything, but they're not, like, the nicest or anything, so I figured putting some oil on them would help them last longer. Right? They didn't, it didn't really, can you see these back here? They didn't really change too much color. Like, when I've put linseed oil on stuff in the past, like, it made them a lot darker and prettier. So it didn't really do too much, a little bit, but um, I feel like it nourished them. I don't know. Um, I still need to do another setup of my display to like really hammer things out now that I have a few more things that I've gotten. Um, and I can't believe it's like in less than a week. Not less than a week. It's like in a week and I'm kind of freaking out. I think you're going to be fine. You're doing great. I feel like I'm going to forget something. I need to get a battery for my phone. I finally got, like last week, um, the PayPal here, the little card reader thing. Um, but to use it with my phone. Do you, or do you use it with a tablet? I use it with my phone, but my tablet does not, it's not um connected to the network like it's only a wi-fi one yeah mine would be that too i didn't think so it's gonna be I a use hotel my phone. maybe i'll bring my tablet along but i'll just buy a battery thing um well you have like one of those battery chargers like i had i got from amazon no that's what i want to get it's and just like that's, a, what that's what you want to get yeah yeah it was like 20 bucks and i use it all the time and it charges my phone twice Okay. Two and a half times, actually. So, yeah. So, I need to get one of those. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to forget something or not bring something that's, like, really common sense and, like, I'm going to be laughed at. I will at. send you. People are just going to laugh I at have, me. I have, I spelled the same way. So, I made a checklist on Word. I will send it to you and you can, can edit it for yourself because it has stuff for me on there. But you can edit it. And, um, then you'll know what you need to do. Yeah. No, I like, I want to keep it simple. Like, I don't want to be too, like, 
I don't want to have like 50,000 things that I need to bring, you know, but I also yeah. don't want to be like, why in the world did I not bring this? Or like, how stupid am I? I don't know. I'm just very nervous. Um, yeah, I'll share mine because it's like the stuff that you really need. Like basically the stuff you, I, I don't necessarily have to have, but you want to have is like a Gerber or, um, uh, like a pen, a Gerber paper. Yeah. It's like a multi-tool. It has like pliers on it and like a screwdriver. Hmm. Um, you want like safety pin, tape, stuff like that. See, yeah, I'm going to stand. I have pinned a few checklists for craft shows too. So you could check that on my Pinterest page, but I'll, I'll email you the document so you can use it. Okay. Um, okay. Moving on. Or maybe I'll copy and paste it to Google docs for you because do you have word? Word? No. Yeah, I'll copy and paste it to Google Docs for you. Yeah. Um, not that I want to talk about the show the whole time. I'm just nervous. So You'll do okay. If any of you are going to be there, don't laugh at me. Or laugh at me, but in a nice way. Um, it's summer. The kids have been out a week fully. Um... I, at the last minute, signed them up for swim lessons. Um, so I was just thinking I should do that for the girl. We've been doing that this week, <laughs> and they've been loving it. I realized I probably could have put them in the next level up because they kind of know everything, but I figured it's a good refresher course. Um, anyways, and they like to be in the water, so it's good. Um, and Trubin, I signed him up for baseball a while ago because he had wanted to play baseball like ever since summer ended last summer. Um, yeah. So I signed him up for that right away. Last Wednesday was supposed to be his first night and we got there and it was like drizzling. And by the time we walked like, I don't know, 50 feet to the pavilion, it started pouring rain. So we like got his shirt and his like team and like, ran to the car and like were completely drenched like had to change clothes drenched that's how like wet it was so he didn't get to do his first day but then today was his first real one and it was so hilarious watching little five and six year old kids play baseball <laughs> I mean they weren't <laughs> even playing like it was just like a practice like they're like showing them how to throw and how to like you know like catch grounders and <laughs> it was just so cute and funny but he was loving it. And he has a really good arm. Like, you know, we play catch and stuff with all sorts of balls. But, like, the coaches were like, wow. Because he would, like, whip the ball at them. <laughs> like, it was funny. But um, he's very excited. That's funny because they're, like, just finishing the baseball season here. Okay. Well, it's through the rec department. It's not like it's anything crazy. I mean, it's not. Yeah, they don't have baseball. That. It's actually T ball, but um, no. I'm excited for him. And the girls were like, or all the kids were like, "How much longer?" I'm like, "Go play at the park, like, because it's at a park." I'm like, you don't have to sit here and watch this, but it was just so funny to watch. I don't know. That's cool. So, so I have um. I had my mid Ohio, the Mid-Ohio Fiber Fair this past weekend, and it was a lot of fun. It was slower, but it was fun. And um, uh, on the way home, I kind of just vegged out, and I played the coolest game ever. It's Cat Name, or is it May May? I don't know how you say that. Name? Whatever. 2048. So this one is, you get, you see all these cats and you have to put like the same cat, the same cats together to get a new cat and you just keep going. So that 
kept me entertained like on the ride home because I didn't have to like worry about anything. But I also downloaded on, I had this one. This one is the cat. This one, on which would be um, Google Play, and that one's the iPhone. I couldn't find this one. This one's cute cat, and it has the numbers on them, their faces, but it also meows when you join them together. And so, like, whenever I play it, Andy's like, what the heck? What are these cats? You know, it's really funny. But um, those, it's like 2048, but with funny cat faces, and it's hilarious. That's funny. So, yeah. I like that game. But um, I got a new phone case. I saw. I've been wanting one for a while. And this one's like a game. Like you have to get the bubbles from the start to the finish, which is down here. So that's kind of fun. Um, yeah. Oh, so for Christmas, we got, I don't have this written down. But for Christmas, Dad gave us Marcus Theater gift certificates. Mm -hmm. and we just didn't have time at Christmas to go to the movies. So we were like, well, we'll just use it whenever we're in Wisconsin because there's no market theaters around here. Oh, okay. So we were in Ohio, and I was it, we were there. Like, we got there early and set up. Just kidding. We didn't get there early. We got there on Friday and, like, had, like, 20 minutes to, like, set everything down because we hit construction, and it was just, like, a great, crazy day. So we hit construction. And then they wanted us out of the building. Um, so um, we just, like, put our stuff in there. We got, like, the basic stuff set up. And then we, like, left. So it was, like, five. So we had, like, the whole night to do, to hang out in a hotel or whatever. So, Andy, I was like, it's Friday. Jurassic World is out. Let's see if they have it around, if there's any movie theaters around here. And then Andy, so Andy, like, looked it up on his phone, and he's like, yeah, there's this one, but he's like, but this theater has bad review. And so I was like, well, see if there's a Marcus Theater anywhere. So there was one, like, 20 minutes away, so we drove. This theater was amazing. Like, you walked in, and there was, like, kiosks where you could buy if you had a credit card, but you could go up to the people if you had a gift card, which is what I had. And then... You go through this thing, and then over here is there's this blue, and I'm, like, blue, lit, lit, lit up blue bar. People are just hanging out drinking. And then you have, like, the concession stand, and then there's, like, a little eating area, and there's, like, couches and, like, high tables just to hang out. Like, it's, like, you could get pizza. You could get anything, and you could, like, hang out, and then you go into your theater and watch a movie. But they didn't have... Um, the fancy couches like yours does, the recliners to sit in. Yeah. Only like one of their theaters did. And we did not do that because we just went for the 2D one. But I think that movie would be awesome to see in 3D. But yeah, so we went and watched Jurassic World. It was really good. But it was really awesome because we had a gift card. So we like didn't have to pay for it. At all. So it was, like, really nice. No, that's awesome. And we got to see the movie, like, the day it came out, which was totally cool. It was good? Yeah. So, yeah, but that's pretty much all that's been going on in my life. Um, here, too. We're not doing much. We watched Jurassic Park. I think I said that earlier. Um, Leah and Chloe did not like it at all. Leah, especially. New like, movie? No, the, the first one, like the old one. Oh, I love that movie. I know. But Leah, do you remember when the goat leg falls on the car, like half eaten and bloody? <laughs> Leah had issues with that. She did not like that. Um, <clears throat> Chloe left like halfway through, and so did Leah. Um, but Truman and Gabe liked it. And then we watched the second one. They had them on TV, so we, like, recorded them. Yeah. And then Joe has the third one, which, why doesn't he have the first one or the second one? I don't know, but he has the third one. So Gabe's been bugging me to watch that one the last couple That's, nights. I like that one better than the second one. I, don't, I saw the second one with him, and I don't think I ever saw it before. Yeah, it's not that good. It was okay. Um, But 
The third one is good, but Tia Leone, it's so annoying in that movie. It's not even funny. You like want to reach through there and strangle her. She's so annoying. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so but it's a good one. That's on the agenda. Joe and I rented Kingsman. Have you seen that? No, but I want to. It's good. Um, I enjoyed it. So Andy had like three dollars for free from uh, Voodoo or whatever that purple one is. Yeah. So he rented for me Jupiter Ascending, and we watched that. Was that good? I liked it. it, it I don't think Andy liked it that much. Is it but good? there was a baseball game on, so he was kind of paying attention to his Kindle. Yeah. Uh, but I liked it. It was.